10 Reasons Why Everybody Isn't Wealthy. In this episode, we are going to address the question, why isn't everybody doing this? Doing what? Investing tax-free. So put on your seatbelt. I'm going to blow you away on how to become financially independent, faster, cheaper, better, safer. I'm Doug Andrew, and I've been blessed in my life to be able to author 11 books so far. My goal is to release a new book every year the rest of my life. As of this recording, my most recent best-selling book is titled The Laser Fund. It's actually two books in one. One is about 200 pages for left brain readers, learners, who want the logic, the math. It contains charts and graphs and explanations of one of my favorite financial vehicles and how to diversify and create the foundation for a tax-free retirement. This is for the right brain people. Uh, this side is about 100 pages, 12 chapters that contain 62 actual client stories and examples. And so if you wanna use your whole brain, you can read both books here. In this book, the left brain side, there's 14 chapters and chapter 10 is titled, why isn't everybody doing this? I taught a national webinar recently and that, that was a question. I wish I had a nickel for every time somebody has asked that question. When I explain how to accumulate your money tax-free, how to access it tax-free in retirement, or you can retire when you're 35, there's no IRS penalties. This knocks the socks off of a Roth or especially a, a traditional IRA or 401k, way better, okay? And uh, it is the best vehicle to use, not only for retirement, but for real estate, equity management, managing your real estate, for a business working capital to become your own banker for emergency funds. This will uh, dwarf whatever uh, a 529 plan may do for your college funding for your kids or your grandkids. And so when I get through explaining it, sometimes it takes me 90 minutes to give an overview. Uh, the book, if you read the book, it's gonna take uh, probably six or seven hours. I have an 18 hour masterclass, which is a deep dive on this. But the most common question, well, why isn't everybody doing this? So uh, let me share with you 10 quick reasons why. They're right here in chapter, uh, it's actually chapter 11 that is titled, Why Isn't Everybody Doing This? And uh, the first two reasons, lack of awareness. You cannot believe how many seasoned uh, financial advisors are not taught this. And uh, I teach advanced continuing education to CPAs, tax attorneys, and financial planners. And they sit there with their mouths open, but they were told by their broker dealers or whatever, no, 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 no. You need to sell your customers uh, mutual funds because that's how we make money with commissions. We've got to churn their money. Uh, don't, don't show them that. And so they poo-poo it. And so it's lack of awareness. Number two is the path of least resistance. Many times, Financial planning firms and accountants, they just say, oh, uh, no, I, I don't have time to educate people on that. Uh, what they don't know won't hurt them. Just follow the herd and, and uh, put the money into a traditional 401k at your work. And, and uh, you'll likely be in a lower bracket when you retire. But if not, we'll deal with it when we get there. And so uh, it's so sad because they want to just follow the path of least resistance slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. What's your name, address, social security number, write out a check to this mutual fund. And that is so sad. And so let me share with you uh, the eight other reasons why everybody isn't doing this. So reason number three is, oh, it's too much work. Golly, uh, I, I can uh, just put my money, write out a check to this uh, mutual fund or whatever. This requires uh, at least five years of jumping through IRS hoops. These are called TEFRA, DEFRA, and TAMRA. There's some advisors at some institutions that, that aren't going to be there in five years. The institutions tell me, we can't promote something when we know the advisor is not going to be here that long because most advisors can't make it. And so we only want to have a transaction, not a five-year transformation. It's just too much work. Isn't that sad? Reason number four, okay? They're selling the clubs versus teaching the swing. This is a metaphor. If you're going to be playing in a golf tournament, let's say, and you had the choice of using a professional golfer like Phil Mickelson's swing, or you could use his clubs, what would you choose? 
well, I'd rather have the swing, not the clubs. See, most financial advisors are taught to simply convince people it's the clubs, uh, uh, the commodity, buy this stock or bond or this mutual fund or gold or silver. It's not in the commodity, it's in the strategy. See, it's in the swing like indexing and setting yourself up so it can be tax-free. It takes more work. The next is, well, it's not as lucrative. Isn't that sad? Yeah, see, when I set up a laser fund or multiple laser funds for uh, a client or their family, see, it takes a lot of work and uh, I get just a, a small bit of compensation on the front end, but I never make any money thereafter on the money they're making. When they get their statements, that is their net, net, net. There's not some one or 2% fee taken out. For example, if you were going to buy a, a half million dollar house and the realtor says, I'll find you a good one, but you have a choice. You can pay me a one-time fee of 6%, that'd be 30,000, or you can pay me 1% on whatever the house is worth. We'll have it appraised every year for the next 35 years and you will pay me 1% of what it's worth for the rest of your life. Hello, would you do that? That's what people do with an asset manager. They say, oh no, we want to be charging you a 1% fee on your money forever. And that will end up being about a million bucks over a 30 or 40 year period instead of a one-time fee of about $20,000. What would you rather pay? So it's not as lucrative, so they don't want to promote it because they don't make as much money. The sixth reason, okay? Well, you should only have so much money in insurance. I'm insurance poor. Well, why do you care what it is? Look at what it does. Every million I accumulate can a, a achieve a, an eighty to $100,000 a year of tax-free income. What do you mean you should only put so much in insurance? It's the superior vehicle. Why would you diversify into inferior vehicles? The next one is, isn't insurance too expensive? You haven't seen one designed the way I'm talking about. It's the least expensive vehicle you can have. For example, have you ever seen an insurance policy that gets cheaper as you get older? Mine do. The ones that I've owned for 30 years, if I earned 11% this year, like I've been averaging 11.17, I would net probably 10.95. Now, in the early years, if I earned 11, I might only net 10. What do you mean expensive? That 1% is money that would go out the window in taxes by four times that when I take my money out of an IRA or 401k. I'd have to earn 15% to net 10. In an insurance contract, I only have to earn 11 to net 10. But the older I get, the cheaper it becomes if it's designed correctly. You ready for the last few reasons? So reason number eight, people say, well, isn't this only for the wealthy? Yeah. See, sometimes savvy CPAs and tax attorneys call uh, the laser fund the rich man's Roth. It's not because you have to be rich to own one, but the rich can't own a Roth. They make too much money. A Roth uh, limits how much you can put in when you can take it out. You have to wait five years or until you're 59 and a half. The laser fund, you don't. If you want to sock away 300,000 in a year, you can do it. If four days later, you want to pull out 250,000 tax-free, you can do it. You can't do that with a Roth. If you can put in 300,000 a year and you only put in 50,000, in future years, you can make up for the years you didn't put in the maximum amount you were allowed to put in. You can't do that with a Roth. So people, when they hear examples like that, they think, oh, isn't it just for wealthy people? No, you can have a laser fund for as little as 500 bucks a month. We have helped people with 500 bucks a month accumulate a million dollars over a 30 year period. The ninth reason, okay, hardly anyone does this or is doing this, right? Well, uh, as far as the ratio of Americans, uh, yeah, unfortunately, most people do not even save money in traditional IRAs and 401ks. Most people who put money in those vehicles are not ever taught about this. So that's why a lot of people are not doing it because they're not aware. See, you can't be aware of something you're not aware of. And this is why people simply don't know what they don't know. The 10th and final reason is, if it's so good, why don't you call it an investment? See, I don't call a laser fund an investment because 
investments under the Internal Revenue Code are subject to tax sooner or later, and investments are subject to market volatility. The laser fund is not. And so unfortunately, a lot of uh, regulators say you cannot call an insurance policy an investment. I'm okay with that. I don't want it to be called an investment. If an investment is subject to market volatility and taxes, I don't want that. I want it to be in a separate section of the Internal Revenue Code, section 72E, 7702, 101A. It's not an investment, it's an insurance contract which is the only vehicle in the Internal Revenue Code that allows you to accumulate your money tax-free, access it tax-free. When I die, it blossoms in value and transfers tax-free. Investments don't do that. So those are the 10 biggest reasons why everybody isn't doing this. If you want to investigate if you should be doing it and break away from the crowd, click on this episode watch it and take advantage of the opportunity to get a copy of this book and you can learn on your own. I'll send you the book absolutely free of charge. I will buy the book. You just pay $5.95 shipping and handling. Does that sound fair?